Yeah, I shouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time we ascend these stairs and check out a rather mysterious towery staircase of sorts. This is what the inside of the tower looks like. Let's head over to that door, Link. Alrighty, look at that. Alright, let's go. And we're off. Taking the atmosphere. And if you'd like, you can use this to go straight back to the entrance, because, well, I, I, I guess I gotta show it to you once. <laughs> Alright, so, upsy doodle we go, and around and in. So how many floors to this tower? Just three? Well, I, I guess technically two. You'll, you'll see what I mean when I get there. Yeah, yeah, door. That looks like it's protecting something. Look at those giant doors, Link. They look really heavy. I don't think one person could open them alone. Hmm? Oh, hey, could you help us with this door? Oh my gosh, what in the world is that? Have you ever seen a monster as ferocious looking as like, is that Link? Let's get out of here, Link! <laughs> it's following us. It's following us. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> What in the holy name of Arceus was that? It would not help us open the doors even. And it was just a simple request. What's the matter? You look pale as a ghost. Though well, given the company you're keeping, perhaps it's no surprise. Oh! Too soon. I'm Jean. There's a ferocious monster up there with a great big sword. I don't see how I can possibly defeat it. Sounds like a phantom, my dear. They're guardians of the Tower of Spirits. Though they look quite sinister, they won't harm anyone with a good heart. I know what I saw. It was definitely after us. Why would it think Link is evil? There's one possible explanation. With the spirit tracks gone, perhaps an evil spirit has possessed the phantom. If that's the case, you might have trouble beating it. The phantom in the back with your sword should stop it with for a while, but first you need to gather all three of the tears of light. That will power up your sword and you'll be able to face the phantom. Collect the three tears of light, then hit the phantom in the back. Sounds tricky. If anyone can do it, Link can. Alright, let's give it a try, Link. Well, we're kind of the only one who can do it, so yeah. Don't just stand there, Link. Go retrieve the real maps to restore more of the spirit tracks. Alright, so... Let's see if we can actually get those spirit tracks restored. I bet that phantom is still there lurking around. Probably. Probably. But will it ambush us when we get through the door like we did the last time? Probably. Probably. Or not. Or not. That phantom's still here. Let's follow Angie's instructions. We have to grab the tears of light without letting the phantom see us. I can tell it means business, so we have to be brave. So yeah, it's just like the stealth mission earlier on, and that if you're seen, it'll chase after you. Hey, how's it going, guy? Oh no! Oh no! But there are these things over here. And she's like, There's something strangely calm about this area here. Do you feel it too, Link? Princess Zelda, can you hear me? It's Anjane! I can hear you, jeez. You need to hit caps lock. Anjane! Yes, it is me, my dear. Listen, the area you're in now is a safe zone, one that is protected by the spirits. As long as you are in a safe zone, you are hidden from enemy view. Furthermore, enemies cannot enter safe zones. Make good use of safe zones to hide from the phantoms. Now you have no time to waste. You must go find that rail map. Thank you, Anjin. Okay, Link, let's get moving. But first, let's wait until it, it decides, okay, we're not a threat. I don't, I don't even see him anymore. Let's just... Let's just move on ahead here. So, if you don't realize what this place is, it's it's like the Temple of the Ocean King in Phantom Hourglass, but believe me, it's not like that. <laughs> let's just put it that way, okay? Okay, so let's. Go. I'll get into more of why that is later on, but I'm but, but what I'm saying is, if you didn't like the fan um, the Temple of the Ocean King in Phantom Hourglass for certain reasons, you'll probably still like this tower. You'll you'll see why as we get in there. Just don't don't lose hope in the game. <laughs> All right, so I got one of them. Oh man, spikers! We can't get past those spikers. We got to go around those spikers. And look at that, tear is light. Actually, I don't think there's anything even in that area there. It's just like a, a dead end of sorts. Uh, now, uh, over here, I'm just gonna kind of skip ahead here because I know how to do this puzzle. Wait for that phantom to turn the corner so it doesn't see you. Hit that. Bridge will appear over there. 
and then you'll be able to safely run over to said bridge without the phantom seeing you and you know causing ire or anything like that so there we go it's timer <coughs> it's timed because yeah you heard that beep 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 when the time runs out the bridge will disappear and yeah don't fall into the pits because down is of course death as usual now what you have the tears of light your sword is full of energy now you can attack, attack a phantom by hitting him in the back heck yeah but once you grab that tear of light this bridge stays permanently so don't have to worry about getting trapped for all of eternity on this little patch of eight squares all right man come on over here having a having a nice day just want to kind of get him into a position that'll be a little bit easier to work with there we go and there we go <laughs> Light! I can't stand the light! <laughs> I'll show you not to touch me with lights! <laughs> Based on the timing of that, it looks like she was too late, but maybe not. What did she do anyway? I mean, it's Changed the color of it, but I I don't know what the heck she did. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh. Hmm. What just happened? Uh um. Don't look so scared, Link. It's me. It's Zelda. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. When I saw that phantom corner, you I just left that out without even thinking. Oh, this is really not my day, is it? First I lose my body, and now I look like a heap of scrap metal, and then I manage to just kind of hot in here. So I guess she can feel the temperature. Oh, 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 wait a second. Glass half full. Maybe you gotta be of some use to you like this. It's not exactly what you'd expect from a princess, but right now I can't really be helped. Heck yeah. Woo! Come on, Link, let's get moving! We need to find my body. Uh, I mean, they're real now. <laughs> Even he laughs at that. All right. Puzzle. Salt. Let's get this door open. We can do it together, Link. So, have her push up against the door, and then you push up along with her, and there we go. Oh, I didn't get the dialogue up there. Well, you could read it if you slow it down. Or <laughs> all of the oh, all of the well. So, yeah, you know the princess controls. Remember we were taught all this stuff back in Stealth, Stealth Mania 2018? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't believe there are... Yeah, there isn't anything there. Oh, no, no. Call, call. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can tell, she could cross spikes. Yes, yes. That may or may not be of use to you. Maybe. Might be. Just just keep it in mind. Don't leave without me! Yeah, you can't leave the floor unless she's next to you. So, yeah. Ooh, hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, spikes. Whatever shall we do about them? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think you can get through these floor spikes, Link. Leave it to me! I'll figure something out! Alright, let's doodle something and maybe we can get her to hit something with her sword. Oh, look at that, a switch! Let's give her a little camera view so we can see what's going on over here. And... Yeah! Puzzle solving o'clock! <laughs> and I'll just call her over. Yay! And let's see what's over here. A pit? Yeah, there's a pit. We aren't crossing that pit anytime soon. But don't you worry, there's another path around here. Oh man! Oh man! Oh jeez! Monstrosities, monstrosities everywhere. Ooh, a switch. Ooh, another switch. Oh man, two switches and they, they pop back up as soon as we, you know, kind of run off them. But wait, but wait a second. We have another block of our own now. A certain princess in the form of a phantom. Yes, puzzle soul. Yeah, this is all early game easy stuff. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Eh, you can handle them, couldn't you, princess? They're just rats. No problem What's Really? Really? You're like 20 times the size of them. You have a sword with four spikes on it that looks ridiculously sharp. And this wrath is giving you ire. Uh, uh, I don't have to collect that heart or anything like that. Oh man, we're, we are never going to get through this if rats just keep coming. So maybe I should just block up this hole over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
So now there won't be any more rats. Look at that. I know it was scary, but we're okay now. We can go. We're all peachy keen. Hmm. Spikes. There's another phantom link. But wait a second. Another in disguise. Maybe I could trick him into thinking I'm on his side. I'll go try. Just like when I gave you the, that uh, that beautiful set of armor there. Yes, yes, that. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> How goes the patrol? You doing good? Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> no one's here. Why are we guarding it? <laughs> Uh, okay, dialogues are feeding. This job is Howard on the fates. <laughs> Something's different about you today. I like how, I like how she's getting that like excited look. You seem cuter than usual. Why? <laughs> yeah, so you get some rather funny and casual dialogue if you talk to said phantoms as ye old Zelda to do distractions or something like that. You can, you can get some really good stuff out of them, believe me. <laughs> now, the idea over here is to uh, use Zelda to distract that phantom while, you know, you go around behind it or something like that. But you could but you could actually do something else. Watch this. He, he's, it's so oblivious that you could actually just go around like that. <laughs> but also, you could also do it like... Oops. You could also do it like this. Hey, you over here. You over here. Yeah, yeah, you. Come around. Now I'll go around this way. Because <laughs> remember, you were, you were able to scout ahead with the princess, and then you just go over to the safe zone, and the phantom can't touch you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's a cracked wall over there, if you didn't see that. Uh, we, we don't have anything that we can do anything to crack the walls with. So, you gotta leave that for later. Okay? Okay. Going up. <laughs> now, remember I said there's three floors, but really there's only two? Yeah, look at floor three. It's just, it's just a hexagon. There's nothing to it. <laughs> no puzzles, no enemies. Oh, man. Oh man, we lost the Tears of Light, we lost the Phantom. Ah, it's nice to get out of that clanky old outfit and get back to my old self. There must be something special about this room. Can't even draw on it. Hmm. Looks like the light of your sword has disappeared too, Link. Hmm. 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 Interesting, no? Interesting, I must say. So, yeah, there's a certain tablet up there, but before we leave this place, this is a little uh, tactic, I guess you could say, that you can use from, I should say, that you could utilize back from Phantom Hourglass. Mark stuff to indicate that there's something there for the future. Got it? Good. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Floor three. For you and me, I already explored this, so I don't have to do anything with that. Just tap it. Yeah! Forest frail map, baby! Woo! Four quadrants, just like phantom hourglass. This is looking really familiar, isn't it? <laughs> And we got the tracks back, and a little little extra one over there. What is that extra? Some of the lost spirit tracks are in our rear appearing. Hmm. 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 Cutscene. Come on, audio. Stay with me. Don't get all crackly. <laughs> Actually, it's sounding fine to me. But wait. Hold on. Woo! And those things. They're reforming at like 200 miles per hour. Wow. <laughs> yeah, baby! We can train it up again. Great job, Link. This must be the real map Anji was talking about. Uh, well... Oh. What could that blue light be? This is Anji here. Good work, Princess Zelda and Link. You've done well obtaining the real map, but you can't go any farther now. To step into the light to return to the tower lobby. So I guess that's what it does. <laughs> she heard us. Oh, you heard her, Link. Let's go. All right. Let's -a go indeed. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. And our atoms get rematerialized down here. There we go. Yeah. Anjane, we did it. Woohoo. Ah, so you managed to obtain the realm map. You two just might be able to restore their spirit tracks in every realm. But Anji, the real map is only a small part of the spirit tracks on it. Where are the temples you were talking about? Ah, in each of the four realms is the temple. Look, my dear, the closest one is here. 
but I don't think you can make it to the temple as things are right now. The real map has imparted energy to a length of the spirit tracks here, but because of the Demon King's power, much of the energy was lost. So, we can't go to the temple, Lanjin? Not yet, but there is a way to restore energy to the rail maps. You can ask my people to help you. Your people, Lanjin? Indeed, we are called the Locomos. You know, like trains, yeah. <laughs> we are servants of the spirits. They have entrusted us with protecting the temples and the spirit tracks. Now, you should understand her appearance, you know, with the wheels and, and the smoke and whatnot, yeah. By playing our sacred instruments, we generate energy that powers the spirit tracks. Instruments? Sacred instruments? Yes, and the spirit flute you hold is one of them. What? This flute was a gift from my grandmother, and I didn't know it had any powers. I only heard it was something precious handed down from my ancestors. Yes, and it was I who gave it to your ancestors. But only under the condition that they protect land for all time, and never sell it on eBay. DANG IT! Of course, back then, I didn't think things would take such a perilous turn. I'm glad that after all these years, it has found its way into your hands. I had no idea this flute was so important. My grandmother used to play it for me when I was a little girl. If I was sad or upset, the sound of this flute would make me feel better. But even so, I suppose this rightful place is with you, Anjin. No, you two will have need of it. Please take it with you, for now. You must go find the other locomotives and restore the energy of the maps. Once you do, the spirit tracks will reappear. Alright. Go to the forest first, where you must talk to Locomo Gage. South of the forest temple is a sanctuary where you can find Gage. He'll be able to tell you where to go next. Got it! Let's go, Link! Oh, um, that we kinda don't have a train, and how are we going to get to the forest? Walk! Dang you, what? Uh, you may take this. Hmm? 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 No, a statue? Come on, there's, there's no way that- Oh! Oh. Well then. Not a statue after all. Oh! Okay, maybe it was a statue, but now it isn't! This train is a symbol of the spirits. People don't ordinarily ride around in it. Well, I guess technically anything could be a statue. Just as long as it doesn't work. <laughs> the paperweight theory, I guess. I guess you could call it or something. People don't ordinarily ride around in it. But these are no ordinary circumstances. I'm sure the spirits wouldn't mind lending it to you. Ah, oh, thank you, Anjin! Woo! And we're off! We can't even talk to her to get some more dialogue. <laughs> wow, this is a high-tech tower. Holy mother of poop. <laughs> and we're off! To see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of locos, or something like that. But now we got a different ability. Something strangely powerful about the rail map we recovered. If you trace your stylus over the tracks, it will set a path to your destination. Whoa, go on and try it, Link. All right, let's go ahead and take some paths that we have not taken before, namely those, because uh, we are going around those areas before. And look at that, now we're gonna follow those particular pathways exactly without having to change our course on the switch at the bottom of the screen when we get to a junction. Oh, uh, just one last thing about the rail map. Should you decide to change your destination mid-course, redraw your travel route by tapping route in the lower corner of the screen. Unfortunately... Oh, that isn't Zelda! I was doing the wrong voice! Oh no! <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't enough power to speak with you around this point. Be brave, you two. The part is ruined entirely because I did the wrong voice! No! I mean, I'm, I'm not doing the voices at all. Not, not at all, no. It's... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, let's just move on. So yeah, we went, we came from that way last time, so now we're gonna see some new stuff. Going past the castle and around the other way. Happy days! So it's like, oh man, maybe, maybe I didn't draw that route long enough, because I'm gonna have to do a turn. So you start back over here where that pen is, and oh, look at that! The power of the rail map compels you! <laughs> Okay, so now what? We just wait. And we wait some more. But, there's actually gonna be a couple of uh, extra events going along the way this time that were not here before. We're 
yeah, well, there's an animal on the tracks on this side, but we can just scare it off. But yeah, there's actually stuff that's going to be directly attacking our train as we are going over there. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. Listen to its sound. Listen to it. Listen, listen. Yeah, it sounds like an elephant. <laughs> it's called a Snurgle. It basically doesn't like loud noises. Those ears are also wings, and yeah, they're humongous. Like the Fennec Fox. <laughs> Alrighty, so... We are getting closer and closer to that forest. But as long as we keep our whistle belting in the plains, we don't have anything to worry about. There will be no attacks on my watch, you monstrosity. Oh jeez, there's even an animal over there, man! Man! <laughs> It's even saying the whistle over there too, according to that sign. But that's that's for that's for a side quest. Let's just, <laughs> I'll teach you more how to read those signs better later in like in the actual side questy thing. But yeah, yeah. All right. So here we are coming up to the forest, and you notice that there's a little transition coming up here. I'm gonna try and give you a idea of what this looks like. It's like it's like the forest is flat as paper. But there's a bump with this black hole in it. See this? Look on the ground. Yeah, see? <laughs> the limitations of the DS. This forest feels odd. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't be here, Link. I'm not feeling too good. So we're going to eventually come up to a junction over here. And, uh, well... Which way do we go? I don't know. It's like we're, we're, we're stopped on the map, so we can't see the maps on, on where we're supposed to go. And let me just say right now, I already took the wrong route on purpose. <clears throat> just to show you what happens. What's happening? Why are we back at the entrance? What should we do? Eh, let's go back and try that again. <laughs> See if we get some. See if we get some new dialogue going on over here. Shall we? Shall we? I think so. Toot toot! We go. Okay, so let's take the correct route this time. Okay. Okay. So you might have an idea of where we are based on other Zelda games, but maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Hmm, I'm going right this time, but this is actually the correct route. You're like, what? How is this the correct route? That can't be! No, that could... But that took us out before. That's, that's ridiculous. That couldn't... But it worked. It worked. What? Mysterious, right? Well, there's, there's a trick to it, and I know the trick. But you're not supposed to know the trick at this point in the game. You're supposed to learn this trick from somewhere else. And I think if we fail it a second time... Um, we are going to learn of what said trick is, like as a hint from some dialogue and whatnot. Let's just put it that way, okay? Okay, so I took the wrong route again, and it'll boot us out. And it's like, oh, we're back to getting there. Uh, maybe we need a better plan. Uh, let's do it one more time. And I'll, I'll cut ahead this time. <laughs> and taking the wrong route once again. So that means that we'll be pooped out post-haste. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I guess she never really hints at that. Well, the thing we're supposed to do is go over to this nearby town, actually. That's the real thing that we're supposed to do because it's nearby and they might know what's going on at the forest and stuff like that. So yeah, it actually makes the most sense to go over there because they're... You know, they're nearby, they might go over there at times, who knows, who knows, but that, that, that is actually the correct destination. Especially since this is the only place that we haven't been to yet. <laughs> now, remember what I said about stopping? Be within those two edges, and voila, you are golden! Woo! Whittleton! Yay! I know of a certain critter known as a Whittle in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but, well, not, th these certainly don't look like Whittles to me. Hmm. Hmm. I made it in one piece, Link. Look at all the trees in this village. I bet it's crawling with bugs here. Hmm, maybe. Ah, I can't, I can't stand bugs! So bugs or rats, oh man. You have to go on without me. I'll wait for you here, Link. Just me and the bugs. 
<laughs> I'm sick of that. I think I'll come with you. Oh, I almost forgot to remind you. When you want to get on the train, just tap me. I'll pop up like this whenever you come near the train, just in case. So yeah, when you're around here, you can be like, But we don't know the way to the forest sanctuary yet, Link. Have you asked the villagers how to get there? Not yet. So you see, she, she, she is, this is where she gets, gives the hint, I guess. Um, yeah. The villagers have me. The villagers here may have valuable information to share. Let's see what they know. Or do you want to take the train out of here? No, not yet. Got it. Alright, we're off. <laughs> there's only four buildings, so there's not much to see here. It's another lottery board. Nah. <laughs> we don't have anything of the sort, so not. Nah. I see the lumber that the villagers cut. I mean, I sell the lumber that the villagers cut. Uh, you won't find the better quality wood anywhere. Wait, did I reread? read yeah, okay, I, I, I read that properly, okay. <laughs> I thought, okay, I, I thought I misread the cut part of that, but whatever, whatever, we're okay, we're okay. Here's a shop, you can get a shield from here as well, but we already got that from Castletown. We were checking out the other bits of dialogue over there. I guess I could actually show you the prize postcards. Buy 10 of them. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess just for the sake of, of showing you stuff, you're welcome. I really honestly should have got this potion, but I, I yeah, <laughs> that, might, that might not have been my better decision, let's <laughs> just put it that way. I should be fine though. <laughs> uh, uh, oh wait, did I talk to you? Uh, yeah, welcome to Little Tin Village. Literally, people call home. You're the one who fixed the rails for us, right? Let me tell you, you're in a real bind before you stepped in. No, maybe I didn't talk to you before. Okay, good. So I'm glad I talked to you. <laughs> you there. I want to save up so I can live in the lap of luxury. This place isn't that bad. You got some booze on the counter or something. You got some instruments, maybe. Fireplace to cook and warm yourself. Yeah, it's pretty cozy, I've got to say. It just needs a little video game console, and you're good to go. Well, TV too, I guess. But I guess you could use a handheld gaming console. Ah, uh, well, anyway, he probably has another idea of luxury. So let's go over here and see how this person likes his humble abode. If you need something, go talk to the chief. His house is right behind here. Okay. Boop. And this, this man, this place sure looks familiar. It's almost as if it's a, it's an identical copy to that other guy's house. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe they couldn't pay uh, someone to make uh, another set of blueprints. They just kind of duplicated the building a bunch of times over, and they were like, "Eh, this works." <laughs> Little Tun Chief's house. Oh yeah, baby. Oh boy. You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Bee larvae, yeah. See, I said they sometimes drop stuff out of that, but... <laughs> not all the time, not all the time, but I finally got something out of one. Okay, this place looks different. Howdy, I'm the chief of this here village. Where it is that you brought back power to Lost Spirit Tracks, yup. You were in a real bind here, so we're much obliged to you, young fellow. What? You went into the forest? <laughs> it's not called Lost Woods for nothing. Yep, that's the name of it. It's the Lost Woods. That's why you keep getting returned to the entrance. If you take the wrong route, you'll end up back outside. Once you do make it through, you'll find the forest's guardian, Gage. Ask the villagers around about the forest. They're the ones who know it best. Uh, okay, so you aren't the one? Man, man, they people told, told you, I mean, told me to go to you for advice and, uh, well. <laughs> well, okay, I, I guess he is pointing us in the right direction. So let's go back and ask people, because we got new dialogue! Yay! New dialogue! <laughs> oh, so you're going to the Lost Wood? Well, here's a little advice. The forest will tell you which way to go. Just pay attention to the tree branches. Yeah, those dead trees without any sort of leaves on them. Yeah, that they're actually things that are pointing you in the right direction. You might have noticed that when I took uh, a different route on that other run, there was a tree that was on the opposite side. But maybe you didn't notice that. That's kind of the trick of the Lost Woods, is that you probably won't figure out the solution on your own just by uh, looking at it, especially where, with this right here. You're going to the Lost Woods, and here's a little advice for you. To avoid getting all turned around, listen to the trees, because they talk a lot. Just don't listen to that fourth tree. It has no sense of direction. <laughs> So even if you figure out the other part of the tree puzzle, you know, follow the branches, you've got to know not to go along the path of the fourth tree. you got to go in the opposite direction that the fourth tree says. And you got some slowdown going on here because of all these leaf piles. 
Uh, that's uh, they're actually sprites. So you, you, that, that's a hint to something. I'll just put it that way. There's a stamp station over here. Keep that in mind for later. I might actually make a mark over there too. Actually, well, maybe it's not just maybe it's not just the leaf piles that are giving me slowdown here. I haven't been in here in my testing for the game, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Well, we're not going to be in here too long anyway, because there's the pits. We can't cross that pits. There's some posts, but we can't utilize those posts. There's a beehive, and we might be able to utilize that beehive. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. There wasn't anything there. <laughs> More often than not, when you knock a beehive out of the tree because you're in such close proximity to them, you're going to take damage. <laughs> And when you get down to a certain amount of health, your health begins to beep. But don't worry, there are some stuff that we can grab before we leave here to maybe recover our health. Hopefully, let's cut the grass. There we go. Because we do not want to listen to that incessant beeping all on our trip. I tell you. I tell you. Everyone in this village respects the forest, what it gives us. That's why you give back by planting new trees. Heck yeah. Nature is good. You want to buy the best tree in the whole forest, too? But even if you were to buy it, it would be too heavy for you to transport. Would it? I have a train. <laughs> I'm not sure the spirits will allow me to use it for transport, but maybe they will. Okay, so I guess you don't have any new dialogue, and I cannot afford that potion. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and try the, lo the Lost Woods again now that we have an idea of what we're supposed to do. And tap, 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 tap. There we go. Let's head to the Lost Woods link. Sure. Okay, let's go. Woo! We're off! And somehow, someway, look at the direction that our train is pointed. It is pointing in, like, this way. But we're gonna flip that train around right here, right now. Yeah! <laughs> I don't see any rotational platform like at the Tower of Spirits. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't know how that worked. But it worked. Where are we? How, why am I getting slowed down now here too? Like, oops, I didn't mean to switch that. Like, what? 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 Maybe something like updating in the background or something like that. This is this is awkward. <laughs> anyway, I should be following those proper and yeah, yeah. Because I fiddle with the controls by mistake and offset my entire drawing. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, you seen it was smooth here just a minute ago, right? So yeah, maybe it wasn't my testing failing me. Failing me. <laughs> I came through here two, two, three times, and this was a lot, a lot smoother. <laughs> well, in the Lost Woods, there's a lot less polygons, I guess. So maybe they'll, it'll speed up there. It'll free up the CPU. And eh, yep, there we go. All right. So now we're paying attention to the trees. And we're out of slowdown zone. As a matter of fact, our train is going to get faster and faster as we go. So, um, be ready to move quick on the lever here. Because remember, you can't draw on the map, too. So, alright, it's pointing to the right. See that branch is pointing this way. Yep, from here to here. Yep, that's how I knew to take the right route from before. But remember, don't pay attention to that fourth tree. It has no idea where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Fourth tree is defective. <laughs> all right, so yeah, all these these sorts of trees here, they don't have any visible branches. That's why you don't use them for any sort of visual aid to get yourself through their visual hint or anything like that. It's only these right here. It's already pointing in the right direction, so I don't have to do anything to it. Voila. Now, that was, that was tree number two. Remember to keep track here because... Uh, remember, those trees can appear on either the left or the right side of the road, pointing in uh, the opposite direction each route. So you got two things to pay attention to here. You've got to pay attention to the, where the tree is pointing, and you've got to pay attention to how many trees you have passed thus far. That was number three. So the fourth one here, don't listen to it. <laughs> and look at that, we made it! We made it! Yeah! Where do we make it? Make it to? Oh, it's the forest sanctuary. Thank you, there, little slightly translucent pop-up box. And we have slowed down again. Great, but I'm gonna end off the part anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> because, yeah, I, I've been recording for a while, and we're, you were, yeah, so this is a pretty good time to end off the part, because we've reached a new area, we finally made it out of there, the forest is so creepy, I thought a ghost might pop out, scary! Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I know of a certain ghost that pops out at sometimes rather unexpected times, but ne never mind, maybe you're not dead. I, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> Anji <laughs> said the local by the name of Gage lives here. Let's find them. And find him we shall in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part after well I do some saving and stuff like that too. That that would be that would be pretty useful to do. 